Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Telescope Observations. So we did a video not too long ago about balancing and uh, if you haven't seen that video, you can see it right here. And today we're going to move on to polar alignment. Now I'm going to be as simple and as direct as I can, but this will really help you follow stars and what polar alignment is all about. And you should see uh, um, the North Star Polaris on a shot here and that was out of this Solomark EC-130. That's eventually what you're going to want to see in your telescope to be polar aligned. So anyways, I'm Pat and my son James is helping film this. So The benefits of polar lining, I think, will speak for itself. But the real benefit is following the stars, tracking them once you get locked on them. If you're like, I learn a lot of stuff from watching videos and, and trial and error. And one of my first, uh, it was when I got on the star, I couldn't follow it very easy. It's up and down all over the place. I didn't even know what polar alignment was. Well, polar, polaris, the North Star. So, you got to put finding the North Star. Pretty easy star to find. There's apps like Starwalk and just all kinds of ways using, you know, the dippers and stuff like that. But find the North Star. It's huge. So, anyways, let's get to it, huh? Yeah. All right, so, like I said, we have a balanced telescope here. If you saw the last video, anyways, like, pretend we're out in my backyard, all right? So, I'm going to, the simplest way is I'm going to use my, my stand here, and I've got it pretty much lined up with my telescope, okay? So I'm going to have this leg, I'm going to find the North Star, and I'm going to point this leg towards the North Star. Okay? And that's how you're going to see it in the view. Pretty cool, huh? But you'll see the North Star is such a great star because that's how everything works. And it never moves. It's always there. It's always... It's what we need, but once you get polar aligned, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about if you've been trying to use this. So I got this direct towards the North Star. Now this is really important here. You have a knob underneath your mount here. You got a shot of that, James. That if you loosen that one, you'll be able to turn it this way, see? like that all right but you're already pointed pretty close to it so you shouldn't have to move that much so when you're polar aligning you want to loosen that one and this one okay and this one goes up and down right and these are the only two you want to use to find the north star yeah, you want to Yes, with these two knobs only, okay? All these other ones are tight. And you're pointing towards the North Star, correct? So now, you find it in your, in your finer scope and you're gonna just move it either this way a little, that way a little, or you're gonna go, you're up and down with this big knob here. Get a shot of that, see that one? That will go, see how it's going up and down, right? And then this way here is gonna get you there. So you find the North Star, and once you get it in your finder scope, you tighten these two, the ones we were just working with, right? That one, and then you come around here and tighten this one, right? You tighten it. 
and you never touch those again that's really important because that was a big mistake I was making I was using this one and this one to find and locate stars and that's not what it's built for this is what it was built for so you don't touch those again yes yeah, so once you get those tight now you're your polar aligned okay now from there you never use those knobs again and you want to keep this pointed towards polaris right now you go back to these two knobs right here because most people would think oh wow i got a polar line i got jupiter over here i'll just loosen this and swing it around Bad. No, then, then you're off. You're going to have troubles following it once you find it. Yeah, you just don't move this. You loosen these. And in the other video that I, I pointed up where you can watch that, you loosen those. And your, your telescope is balanced. And this is what you're using. You get it over wherever your target is. This is how you're moving it. Okay, and as long as you don't move these, the ones we were originally messing with, and this is pointed towards the North Star, you're pretty much polar aligned. And once you get on a target this with this way, okay, so there's my target. Say I find my target, I tighten these up, then I'm on my target. Now from that point is where the view real beauty starts okay from that point you should never have to use anything else to follow whatever your target is because you'll be in here and you'll be focusing it and stuff these two knobs here they're, called fine -tune. they're the fine tune knobs it's either this one or this one and usually it ends up being one and once you start going with it it's always it just keeps following it and you'll be able to follow stars you could follow them all night it's easier to find stars it's easier to find planets when you're polar aligned like that because everything that's just how it works Thanks for subscribing. If we get up to a thousand subscribers, I can start doing this live, shooting live for my telescope. That's kind of what we're shooting for, right? Huh? Oh, 50. Oh, we're getting close to that. Um, enjoy the shots and um, a few more subscribers, and we'll be going live. Thanks. See you next time. Boom!